Hello, I am Dr. Nagaraj Puttaswamy. I am a laparoscopic surgeon and a bariatric surgeon at Punya Hospitals, Bangalore. We talk about hemorrhoids or piles. We can differentiate the piles into two forms, internal and external. And uh, we are worried more about the internal hemorrhoids uh, which descend from little inside from the rectal region. And uh, see, so we try to treat patients with uh, you know, internal hemorrhoids only if they are grading is beyond 2. We grade the hemorrhoids 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. And uh, beyond 2 only we try to treat. And particularly when the patient has come with a significant symptom of uh, most commonly bleeding. There are multiple options of treatment for uh, hemorrhoidal problems. One of the commonest procedures what we do is a conventional hemorrhoidectomy, that is removal of hemorrhoids. But unfortunately, this is one of the most painful surgical procedure what we can execute. And this is why the patient has an inhibition to come and see a surgeon. Uh, so they try to resort into some alternative medications uh, and uh, treatment options. Uh, the patient definitely will not be treated incomplete or maybe lands up in a complicated scenario. Smaller other options are banding of the venom hemorrhoidal veins or cryo laser or uh, uh, see cold laser technique. And uh, off late we are doing a lot of advanced uh, surgical procedure like uh, uh, what is that uh, Doppler located uh, uh, arterial uh, ligation of the hemorrhoids and uh, more advanced is uh, a stapler hemorrhoidopexy. All these procedures uh, have their own advantages and disadvantages. One may be more advantageous than the other. But uh, hemorrhoidal banding is one technique which is uh, time tested and relatively old also. It has uh, a very simple technique uh, wherein uh, we use a small instrument uh, uh, called a rubber band applicator wherein the rubber band would have been preloaded and the applicator would uh, just go into the uh, anal region or the rectal region and one uh, hemorrhoidal vein picker will be there which can go through the applicator and the vein will be pulled into the hemorrhoidal applicator and the band get pushed with the help of another instrument uh, onto the vein. This is the technique how the hemorrhoidal banding is done. What happens following application of this? So this can be an outpatient procedure, it can be done under local anesthesia, uh, the patient goes out immediately after surgical procedure. But uh, some amount of discomfort and pain is expected to be there for the next few days. That's just, just because uh, the rubber band is tightly placed around the anal uh, veins, uh, and uh, it's not in one place we do this, it is, we, we try to do it in at least uh, 3 to 4 places, more commonly at uh, 5, 7 and 11 o'clock positions, wherein these are the places where we see in the hemorrhoidal plexus in high you know, concentration. So post this, uh, the necrosed vein falls off and the rubber band also falls off, it will usually take about 5 to 6 days of time, sometimes 7 to 8 days uh, and uh, some amount of bleeding or discomfort is expected during that period. We expect them to be on laxatives and pain management and also antibiotics to keep things on in order.